Hello and welcome to the video by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use two variable data table in Excel. Here I have some data to calculate the monthly loan repayment value. I have the loan amount, interest rate and the number of monthly payments. And to calculate the monthly payment I would use the formula PMT and here I would give the rate as 6% but since the payments have to be monthly I would convert it into a monthly rate by dividing it by 12. The number of periods here would be 60 which is equivalent to 5 years but since these are monthly payments we would take 60 months and the present value here is $100,000. Using these three arguments I would press control enter and this gives me $1,933.28 as the monthly payment. Since this is an outflow, this is in red and in round brackets. Now, if I want to identify the combination of the number of monthly payments and the loan amount, which would keep my monthly payment below 500. So I do not want to pay more than 500 and I want to get the maximum possible loan and I want to know what would be the number of monthly payments with it. So to do that I can use two variable data table. I would have to create a construct for it. So here I would first have to mention the two variables which is number of monthly payments and the loan amount. I would have the number of monthly payments here in the column. So as of now I have 60 months. I would want to check it for 72 months, 84 months and so on. So this is 6 years, 7 years and I would go up to 240 months which is 20 years. Similarly, I would want to check for various loan amounts. So I would use $50,000 here, $60,000 here and I would go up to $100,000. I have intentionally left this cell D1 empty and now I'll show you how to create that construct. In this cell D1, you need to refer to this cell monthly payments value and the idea is that this cell should be dependent on the two variables that we have taken which is number of monthly payments and the loan amount. If you manually type this value here it would not work. It would have to directly or indirectly be de dependent on these two cells. So I could manually either refer it here to this cell or I could use the PMT function directly in this cell. Now when I have this construct ready, I can use the two variable data table. So I would select all these cells. I would go to data, what if analysis and here I have data table option. When I click on it, it opens the data table dialog box. And here I have to give two inputs, which is the row input cell and column input cell. A row input cell would be the variable which is varying across the row. In this case, it would be the loan amount because loan amount is varying across the row. So I would choose B1 here and column input cell would be the variable which is varying here, which would be this value. So I would select it. If you're wondering why I'm selecting these cells, because these are the cells which make up this formula because this formula is dependent on these. So I need to select these cells. And as soon as I click OK, you can see that these values have automatically been filled instantly and I have the value for all these combinations. So for example, if I'm looking for 72 months with $50,000 loan, it would have a monthly payment of $828.6 per month. Similarly, if I come down and I see uh, 20 years for $100,000, thousand dollars the payment would be seven hundred and sixteen point four three dollars so now if you want to check what would be the combination where you do not have to pay more than five hundred dollars per month you can quickly scan through this and you would see that these are all the conditions that would meet your criteria and here these are the conditions because these are all less than 500 if you are looking for the maximum loan amount then you would go for this option which is sixty thousand dollars for 192 months because it would lead to a monthly payment of 486.86 dollars now a couple of things to note here is that you cannot undo this operation once you have applied a data table these values are here you cannot press ctrl z and go back 
so you would have to delete them manually also you cannot delete one individual or a couple of cells here if I try and delete it it will not let me it will say cannot change part of a data table the reason being that if you look here in the formula bar you would see that this is an array and this entire array would have to be deleted if you want to delete it you would have to select all these cells and then press delete so this is how you can delete everything but you cannot modify one single cell so this is how you can use a data table in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.